What is up guys? Welcome back. So the new patch has dropped. I'm super super excited. Holy shit. Um, I just got back. Normally I'd be making my daily update video, but I'm going to be taking a first look at everything they've mentioned in the patch so far. So yeah, I haven't logged in since yesterday. Um, I haven't logged in since they logged me off actually, so that's why I'm getting all the rewards now. I, I, I have not logged in since the day reset. So first things first, I think... Yeah, let's take a look at the shop first. Let's take a look at the um, the crystals. So there's a crystal shop. I have 228 crystals. That's that's actually very interesting. I think I think they saved the crystals from your summonings before. That's actually pretty good. All right. So um, you know, there's an energy package. 30 crystals for 50 energy. I don't. Th this is like hardly worth it. Um, the the egg legendary egg. This is actually pretty cheap. If you if you compare it to the um, crystal to egg ratio, like to to the you know to get a natural four star five star guaranteed, you know um, it's pretty it's pretty cheap compared to the other things. This I don't think, in my opinion, is worth it. Like 350. Like I don't. I think I, I seriously think like this thing. This has more value than a million gold. Like if I could if I could use a million gold to buy. Actually no 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 no. no. Actually no, if I have a million gold for a chance to buy a 5 star, it's not like I'm buying a 4 star, it's like I have a chance to get a 5 star, then, you know, I think it's it's definitely worth it. Um, and you're guaranteed at least a 4 star, so I think, and this is even more more expensive than this, so probably not worth it. This, in my opinion, is probably what I'm going after. I think Gleams are the most most valuable resource in the game, so definitely, definitely gonna buy the shit out of this. Um, Light dark egg. No, don't don't buy this. This this shit never gives you anything. Actually, no, it gives me a lot of good shit. But in most most people don't get really good shit from that. Um, these three are really expensive. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know why they made an egg just for just for Banshee. Oh wait, there's a Banshee's a new monster. Oh, never mind. We might have to save this for the Banshee. If it, if it's a good monster, this might be worth saving for. So there's that and. Um, are there new special packages? No, there are no special packages. All right, so this is just a crystal shop. Nothing, nothing too new here. There's a Ashmont's Association. Um, there's a clan. Tower of Chaos is still here. So, yeah, I actually completed it yesterday. I, I secretly completed it. Um, this is pretty interesting. I want. I wonder what rewards you can get from this. Alright, so basically this um, counts the total of catches you get. So like if you have one legendary catch, it gives you some points or something like that. And let's take a look, look, look at the reward list. Holy shit. So if you catch a lot of Astromon, then you can actually get you can actually get eggs. Anyone um, 1500, I'm definitely going to try to aim for this if I can. Like, you know, to I'm not sure if I can make this ranking, but it's like it's, it doesn't matter how like how um, how strong your team is. It's not like competitive like arena. It's basically just if you play more, you probably have a higher chance to catch more. So it's pretty much rewarding the players that play a lot, especially like that farm scenario maps and raise more five stars. So definitely really really good for me. This basically just counts your your cap your own capture score. And I can't do Astromon Lab Laboratory, so I guess that's that's okay. It's just basically like another another uh, ranking for for catching stuff. Clan is not out yet, so I can't I can't do Clan. And there's three new maps. I'm not sure how to actually get to the three new maps. Actually, they're they're locked as well. So there's those aren't available in this update. But the the um, the catching the crystals and the bonus summoning rates are available now. So. I think that's pretty much it for the for the new patch. Um, there's also there's also four new three new monsters I think. The the Shiva and the um, the Sura I think. So there's a fire Shiva. Probably gonna do a review of these um, in a separate video. But let's just take a look at their skills. I'm not gonna make any comments about this. So it's stun and HP siphon. Um, and he has an AOE and thirst recovery down. I think this is okay, but Thirst just got buffed, so Thirst is actually pretty strong now. Um, recovery down still kind of, still kind of meh in my opinion. Oh, he has an AOE seal. Holy shit! 
So he has um, he has Predator and AoE Seal. I think this monster, this one's pretty strong actually. The Fire and Wood one are pretty strong. The Water one's okay, I think. There's also there's also the Suras. Where are they? Ah, this guy. So morale boost, adrenaline. Hmm, he's a pretty strong healer. 20% of allies HP. And then morale boost for 20%. So you can constantly use his second skill to, to heal. And he can also damage at the same time. So that's actually pretty good. Stun Predator. He, this is pretty strong, actually. This is 100% stun for two turns. What? Am I reading this right? Oh, critical hits have 100%. So you basically, you get him max crit. He stuns every turn. Pretty strong monster. Um, actually, no, really strong monster. Where's where's the wood one? Oh, so he has seal. So they're introducing seal to another monster. I think seal's gonna be really strong in the future. Um, seal and sap, but sap is kind of sap is kind of not that good. I wonder if there's a light and dark Sora. Oh, there is. There's a there's a light Sora. Um, so he has double adrenaline. He's basically just straight out healing non-stop and the dark one who has HP siphon and hunter so he can basically self-sustain and then hit pretty hard with this um, and he's dark too so he's gonna get like even more crit damage that's always nice what about what about the three stars maybe they're the the Phoebeans are worth raising I wonder where is he ah oh, this guy so he has death break recovery down. Um 60%, 80%. It's it's okay. It's okay. It's not it's not exactly the best, but it's 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 decent. Um ad adrenaline, it sort restores own HP and then stun. This is not not that useful. Brrr. Oh, 50% death break for two turns and 70% death break for two turns. I think the chance of activation is actually quite low compared to a lot of the other three stars. That is that is that is weird. Wonder if there's a uh, light dark version of them. There might be, or there might be not. I don't think there's a light dark Phoebean. Yeah, there's no, there's no light dark Phoebean. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, that's everything new introduced in the patch. I just wanted to take a really quick first look with you guys, and hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you, you know, if you like my video, like it. If you hated my video, dislike it. And you know, make more new accounts, just dislike the shit out of that. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.